As we approach the season of the Nativity, we are called by the Church to listen to various Gospel readings which inform our hearts and make us ready to receive Christ incarnate. On this day in particular, we hear Christ speak very famous words that seem to clash with the expectation of this season. And these seem strange words to hear in our culture, where we are in this very season that these words resound in our ears, consumed with precisely that, consumerism. And much ink has been spilt over the course of centuries trying to explain the relationship of money and piety. But the key to understanding what Christ means is provided only a few lines before. He says it to the person in the Gospel as a response to what Christ had first instructed. Go and sell what you have and give it to the poor, and then come and follow me. What makes this individual's money an obstacle is not the money, but what he does and refuses to do with the gifts that he's been given. People who have very little often give very freely because they know how important can be the smallest gift that they have received. And so when they have even a little in excess, they are willing to give it to those who need it. But for those who have great abundance, the wealth itself becomes an attraction and it can feel harder to part with things that the world tells us forms our security forms our comfort. But Christ is very clear in this Gospel and in others. If you or if I wish to follow Him, we must live lives of sacrifice as He Himself was sacrificed. We must be willing to give what is ours, even though all that is ours is only temporary. We must be able to give it for the sake of others, as Christ Himself gave even His life for the sake of those in need. Wealth and riches are only an obstacle if we hoard them and if we find in them our path to happiness. But if you are able to use what you have, whether it be great or small, for the benefit of another person, if you are able to look into your heart and into your life and see that the gifts you have been given may become the cause of comfort and strength for another person who has less, in this way those gifts become part of the ladder that leads into the kingdom rather than an obstacle that prevents us from attaining it. So as we approach this nativity season, a time that even the world considers one of giving, I urge all of you to look into your hearts, to look into your lives, to see the blessings that God has given. And however small it might be, give of yourself for those who are in need. Don't forget those who are suffering and those who are struggling and never succumb to the lie, the depressing lie, that we have nothing that we can give. Everyone has something, whether it's time, whether it's money, prayers, or love. But Christ is always calling us to do better, to do more, to recognize that what we have done thus far for those in need is good and blessed, but there is the possibility to go further, to offer more of ourselves. And in this season where we prepare to receive Christ offering himself for us, and may each of you and may all of us together give of ourselves for those who need mercy and support, that with them we may attain to the kingdom of the incarnate Christ. Amen.